Hello everyone, it is your favorite monkey and welcome back to Satisfactory. And today we are going to do some cool things and I think the last two episodes were a bit of boring and not a lot of things happened. We were just playing around with a couple of things. We still have this setup over here, but I want to unveil something to you guys. First, I've been playing for like 16 hours. <laughs> a few of those hours are just like me logging in letting these machines work and gather resources and construct and whatnot. But the other hours, I've created this. Oh my. Yes, I have <laughs> been really, really busy and I really want to go ahead and progress as quickly as possible. And um, yeah, I quickly want to go up there and talk to you guys about a couple of things, what I've done. Over there is going to be our plate and rod, iron rod production and they are going to go into bins like these ones the storage containers which we will um, go place down manually a little bit later but not right now so this machine goes takes the rods and just turns it into screws and this assembler may, uh, is busy making some um, reinforced plates because I want to go ahead and get a couple of these guys what are they called again the conveyor belt mark two i want to get those guys going because yeah resource i want to i want fast stuff you know <laughs> want to be fast want to be quick so up here one level this is going to be the foreman office if you want to put it that way like the lookout foreman lookout kind of our central business area where we will, will keep tabs on our productions and machines and things. Um, it has its own internal power. Just to, like a few minutes ago or half an hour ago, I did top them off with some biomass logs or biscuits. They look like biscuits to me, sort of. Yeah, like the oatmeal stuff you get in biscuit form but anyways yeah so they got some biomass generators generating some electricity although they're not being used at this time and uh, yeah up here i put up a lookout tower so we can see where we need to build and plan and those kind of things let's just quickly go up here and just just take a quick gander at what is happening over here so hopefully i set up all these things correctly um we will have to check back once we get the like a, those couple of miners everything has been hooked up to this assembly bay over here and yeah we will see that in a little bit later but i want to talk about what's going on here our little office ow that's the first time i like literally fall off that thing so we got more generators up here but this is just for backup power up upstairs like here and uh yeah Ooh. let's go in here okay so welcome to the office we got a hub and today i want to see if we can unlock tier three and four and get a couple of things going we have yeah like i said the hub and steve over here we got our equipment over here um object scanner I'm trying to figure, I think we're going to need it at some point. We have a Xeno Zapper already, but I think that we have to craft a couple more to get upgraded weapons or something. Not too sure. Yeah, all these things look so cool. I haven't really, like, noticed all the fine details, you know. Really cool. And over here is just an overflow storage container where I just go ahead and drop whatever I have on me. Like so, just to keep an inventory clear and clean. Just to, you know, a clean inventory is a efficient inventory. Or some of that nature. This is the ma'am. It's ma'am! <laughs> Every time when I see ma'am, I just think of that one video I saw. Like, it was that transvestite dude or dudette. And it was something like, it's ma'am! <laughs> but in his deep voice, like, sir, calm down. It's ma'am! Anyways, yeah, so this is ma'am. And uh, yeah, this is basically just a molecular an analysis machine. Um, I think this is a version where we have a tech tree. Kind of, we have to research kind of different things. 
Um, this I will do off camera so you guys don't get bored with it. Um, yeah, so we, we just do main things over here. Uh, flower petals, nutrients, quartz, sulfur, unknown metals, stuffs. <laughs> you know, stuffs. And over here is this guy. The awesome shop. I'll fix it. And uh, it is pretty, pretty cool. So what that does is what we need is coupons. Now, this is the awesome sink. What you do is you, it has an input over here. And whatever materials you don't craft, like say for instance those um, concretes over there is not being utilized. Like the machines are not working. You can just have all those things hooked up and thrown onto a conveyor belt. And just like the machine suck it in, you can have multiple of these machines. These awesome sinks. And they will over time generate coupons. And in turn you come here to the awesome shop and you go ahead and spend your coupons in here now this is pretty cool i think this is just the way the best store on the planet it's the only store on the planet but okay if you say so well they're not wrong i guess but anyways so we currently have zero coupons i've not been running that thing i kind of want to get a couple of things going before we seriously dive into this but yeah, this this is a cool, like a bunch of cool things. Um, like for instance, the walls like there is windowed walls. So I think you pay nine coupons and you unlock like the window things, windowed walls, all those things. Um, mainly you have to use mods, or you had to use mods in order to get these. But I think this uh, this is their way of testing everything um there's attachments like there's a hyper tube wall attachment there's a pipeline wall attachment that is new I've, i don't think i've seen that i've only seen the conveyor wall mounts the pipeline wall mount and the power pole wall power this i really want because that is pretty cool instead of these ugly ugly um power cables running around you could just have a connection through a wall and just have one pole connect into there connect to a machine and that would be cool um, foundations is really cool ones uh, that one looks really awesome um, there's different types it's just so cool there's a lot of cool things vehicles this thing looks adorable fix it factory cart I have no idea what this does it's like 10 coupons um, yeah stuff like that is statues the golden nut a thousand coupons no thank you uh maybe in the future don't know beacons and but i mean do you trade in one to get 10 beacons i don't know and then parts is just you trade in coupons for parts but i think this is kind of a waste because you're already crafting the stuff why why would you want to go ahead and do this i don't know maybe there's a reasonable thing for it but for me, I want to see if we cannot get to these guys as quickly as possible. Actually, these ones. Uh, attachments, they are a lot cheaper. We will first try to aim for getting the attachments. Um, just to have something to play with, especially with the power poles. And then I want to see if we cannot get a wall going with windows like these ones. Um, these conveyor walls will also be very handy. Yeah, so first priority top priority will be these attachments and then second priority will be these walls and then pff, i want to i want to see what we can do with a vehicle like that small vehicle what it is what's what's it about all right so before me is a box and in box is stuffs to do things for instance we are going to build the space elevator right now i'm so excited this is this is one of the best things in the game is this um space elevator it is just fantastic it's one of the coolest things uh you know what? i'm just gonna shut up and show you guys if you haven't seen it before well you're gonna see it now because it, it's huge it's gigantic look at this thing we're just gonna plop it down it's gonna take all the materials out of us it's going to assemble and assemble and assemble. I think there's like this one. There is that one last. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> one tick of 
what do you call it, ingredient to finish this up. But man, this is awesome. These arms opening up. Oh, there it is. It's coming down. All right, grab it, grab it before it gets away. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, wow. You know, that's how you do it. <laughs> that's how you make a grand entrance. Wow, that is just so awesome. And, uh, yeah, it's just amazing how strong everything is. Foundations and stuff. Because the space elevator does not really make any sense. Because the thing you're trying to attach to in orbit constantly moves. So you want to have, like, sort of a geosynchronous orbit. Oh, please don't tell me you're going to fly into that thing. Imagine that. Imagine that thing at collision is just a splat. Because I bet you that thing would lose against <laughs> this thing. Alright, so let's go check it out. It is really cool. And, yeah. Show me what you got. So it wants smart plating. Now smart plating is something an assembler does. And... If you see, select the recipe, see smart plating, and it requires the rotor and a reinforced plate. Yeah, right. And we, we, we will come back to that. We will come back to that. But now, since we have the space elevator, I quickly want to go and check out our hub in the foreman's office and see uh, if anything has unlocked or we, do we need to do the smart plating first before the next yeah see we have to do the phase one of the ele space elevator and that means doing the smart plating so with that in mind i think we should go ahead and fire up that assembly over there Ugh, lag and i just want to check i think we have like a lot of like 320 megawatts of power just sitting there idly so i think we should you know just get that going so i was trying to get a little bit more aesthetic pleasing kind of things um like walls and stuff going just to make it a bit more factory like and yeah this is gonna this is gonna become one giant factory obviously this is gonna remain open open air but the rest will be enclosed in a giant factory like the dome they're doing in uh russia over chernobyl that kind of vibe i'm gonna go for all right so these assemb these conveyor belts all connect to um like miners which hard to explain but it will sort of try to push out 120 items or units of ore and on these belts but these belts are gonna handle like 60 that's why i'm trying to make this reinforced plates to upgrade these belts so that we can have um you know faster productions but yeah i think i think it is time to hook this up where shall we hook it up i think this was the designated oh we cannot afford that because we are missing cable yeah, that's kind of the the sucky part of this base. It is a bit big and we cannot get anywhere reliably. Well, can't get to reliably. It just takes so long. It is quite the walk. Yeah, I know. All right, so let's go ahead and grab not that. In here, I know I dumped a couple of things. Let's just go. Don't store it. Grab it. Take it all. Yeah. I wanted to do the research thingy, but that can wait. I'm gonna take some time. So yeah, let's just go ahead and uh, hook it up and see what happens. Man, this thing is fantastic. Love it. Alright, so you gonna connect to that. Let's see our power spiking up. Okay, so yeah, power did go up a little bit. 
I'm gonna keep that running over there. The, I kind of want to do it like have their own power source, like a couple of generators on their own, so that will never stop working. And everything else is running off a main grid. We will see. But yeah, it looks like our production everything is good. We still have an excess amount of power. And what's cool about this is um, <coughs> later we are going to get some uh, different items, like three or four items which needs to be loaded in here. We can do it by hand, but luckily we can add conveyor belts into these guys directly. Oh uh, yeah, I cannot afford that, because I'm poor. We need to get mining going. <laughs> but yeah, you can run conveyor belts into here with the various resources and just complete the phases like that. <coughs> Excuse me. So, uh, yeah, I'm just waiting on damn resources to come. Everything else uh, is doing well. It is on. It's just not working. Okay, so I'll tell you guys what. I'm going to put a quick cut in here and wait for resources to get to us, to flow to us. Because it might take a minute or so. And then we will come. Yeah, see, it's coming. It's coming. But those are like sort of close-ish ones. Uh, and, uh, yeah, we'll be right back. Alright, welcome back. And, yes, so, I have been playing around with it, man! And got a couple of researches going. They were very quick, actually, some of them. I think it's because I had more of the item, like, let's just, let's say, for instance, the flower petals. Um had a bunch of them and it took like three seconds but then the higher the research the more time it would take and more resources and things uh ooh, yes please i want some of that that's good so i just jury rigged a couple of things here <laughs> just to get some you know productions of things going and this looks like it is working optimally Yes, it looks like it is going quite well. And, uh, yeah, so I've just been running around get, gathering some biomass and waiting for things to happen, collecting the reinforced plates and upgrading some of the, um, the lines that goes into this area. And I've got to say, it's going to take some time. And what I should have been doing is back here. We want to go back here. I should have plopped down the a couple of these sinks, which I could probably do, because some of these bins are getting full, and it'd be great to start emptying them and start collecting coupons so that we can get uh, like brand new parts to play around with. And yeah, I mean, I, seriously, I want some aesthetics going, you know, like. Uh, couple of those and things which would be great but yeah other than that I don't think there is much of anything else except for this let's go ahead and collect that smart plating I've just been manually feeding this thing rotors and reinforced plates just to get that out of the way now I wonder these plates do we ever use them at some point is it just part of the because it sounds interesting Smart plating. I don't know. But let's go. Insert. Uh, seal it. Press it down into the box. And now it's ready. You guys ready? The delivery will unlock tier 3 and 4. And. Send. Oh, ho, ho, ho. And away she goes. That is so cool. That is so cool. So I'm going to look at some videos about theories like surrounding space elevators. You know, get my tinfoil hat up and those cool things. 
and see what we can uh, <laughs> if there's any like cool things I kind of like reading theories like that I don't know if you guys do but I do uh, let's quickly go check out what um what is what's what do we have so coal power is gonna be bloody nice because I mean coal generator it is a, such a good alternative like uh, biomass is good and all but eventually you run out of plants <laughs> okay I guess coal you also run out of coal at some point but that's why I chose this location because just right there is a coal patch and that would be stop lagging bastard yeah That'd be so cool to set that up. Um, let's try to think, where do we want to do that? Oh man, having a foreman office is so nice. Just getting a glimpse of the surroundings. There's a slug. Um, yeah, I don't know where we're going to put up the coal. I mean, I was talking about doing it on that island over there, but that's so, so far away and we, we're so cozy. We're so nice over here. We, we made ourselves home. We put our giant foot down. <laughs> I think what we can do is probably I just want to get away from that you and you can you be quiet can you shut up just you guys literally have nothing ugh alright Anyways, like I was saying, we can do that over there, but we can rather ship it over or use a conveyor belt and just build around there or something or something close by maybe. That's limestone. That's, that's actually, I think there's two limestone patches over here. I think that area is covered by farts. And I think that area as well. I think so. I'm not too sure. There is another place. Which I definitely... It could be that place over there. Not too sure. But that's my phone. Okay, that is weird. I just got a single letter of a message. <laughs> weird. Although it is 2 in the morning. Anyways. Guys, that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Truly appreciate it. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and press that like button. It does help out the channel and the video so, so much. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.